stressful. This is my seventh time to Pastor Chris. I've Seven been coming to the seminar. To the seminar. I've been Seven. coming often. So last year, by this time last year, because I had a program there, I was sitting down because I run a school. My name is Favor, and my name of my school is Great Favor Academy. So I saved a, an amount of money that I'm going to use to renovate the school because if your school is not to standard, they're going to pull it down or close the school. But when I was in that program, pastor said that we should give a sacrificial offering. I said, ha, this money that I kept, I will not touch it. I've made up my mind I'm going to use this money to do this school. Therefore, I will do it. But when I was sitting down, I said, should I sign 10,000? I said, no, this money is too small. I decided not to even sign. I kept it. Because I've been signing. I've been, I've been giving. Do you understand? But that giving I gave didn't touch me. You know, there's a money that you just sit, easily give. But this one, I've been giving. I said, this one, I'm, I'm not going to give. This one, the ones I've been giving, I've been giving you a lot. And he said, give the one that will touch you. I just kept the money. I just kept it by one corner. Saturday before that, I already sent a message to those that will bring ties, um, snacks, you know, people that work for me. I've sent them texts. That night, I began to send the same message to those people that I, I called to, to bring things for me on Monday morning. I began to send them messages. I said, please don't bring it. I'm going to call you so so. I'm going to call you. The next morning, I went to the school. I did not tell my staff. I just, I didn't tell anybody. I just went to the bank. When I was going to all the money, my, one of my staff officers and I asked me, I said, oh, we want to draw. I said, yes, I want to withdraw. Well, there's an important thing I want to use the money. I don't want to tell you because I don't want anybody to discourage me. At that time, I have already given out that money. The money is no longer mine. So I don't want any discouragement again. So I just went to the bank. I took the whole money. I said, I, I, should, I said no, I want to take all. It's my money, so I'll put another one. But for now, let me take all and do what I want to do. The man released the money. Immediately, I gave that money. I gave that money. Two months after, my husband came and he went ahead and told me what he wants to tell me. Praise the Lord. And sharp, sharp, because I read that message, I understood who he was and who, what, he, what he has inside of him. I, before he even proposed, I know, I began to say, say it sharp, sharp. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So when he said it, do you know what? Do you know what? He began to take step immediately. He began to meet pastor, he met my family, he did this, he did that, we went to the village. To cut long story short, hallelujah, on the 4th of January, I did my traditional marriage. Luchy, Luchy. Yeah. This year, 2017. 2017. So your wedding is when? 8th of April, this next month. Yes, your wife's wedding is coming. Yes, it's coming. It's 8th of April. But you got married in January. I did my traditional marriage in January.